So, g'day people. This is Glenn back with some new banknotes. And these are the banknotes of Zambia. As you can see, it says Zambia on the actual banknotes. And these design has actually been in circulation since 1992. So, apart from the re-denomination that happened in 2012, uh, there hasn't really been that much change in these banknotes. So here I have the first series, and this was the older Kwacha. So the redenomination was uh, one new Kwacha equals 10,000 old Kwacha. So this one is pretty much uh, worthless. With uh, 100 Kwacha equals one of we. So we have... Um, the smallest denomination that they currently use now, that's the two kwacha. And as you can see, there's a security feature there. And that's actually on both sides. The dove and the BOC, so it's also on both sides. As you can see, different parts of it are coloured. And when you hold it up, it should actually form one colour series. And you can see the watermark is a, I believe that's a fishing eagle. This bird here as you can see, and that is actually on all banknotes. And this actually yellow branch with the black bird actually goes quite well. Now, each of these series has a different tree, um, but those trees do not have a name on it, and I'm not too sure what species they are. They would be trees that are uh, living in Zambia, but they most likely also occur in other parts of uh, Africa as well. And if we have a look, they have uh, two bars, and that is for the visually impaired. And when you go to Zambia, the old series come from 20 to 50,000 kwacha. The new series comes uh, from 2 to 100. So the 20, 50 and 100 does come in both series. But how you actually uh, differentiate between the new and old series is that the denomination here is surrounded by like a badge or something like that. And this one doesn't have anything in the background. Uh, the designs would be different, like the plants and the trees. I should actually get a 20, 50 and 100 quadra so I can make a comparison. I would endeavour to do that. But another thing is, is that the 20 50 was only issued in 92 and 2003. The 50 and 100 stopped being issued in 2010 and 2011. So there are no dated 2012 series of the old series. Any 20, 50 crutches that are actually dated are all um, 2012 plus for the new series. And if we have a look at the other side of the banknote, you can see they have a, I think that might be a spring book. Oh no. Rowan antelope, so it does have the animal there. And the Independence Monument, so an African person breaking chains, which are, represent colonization. And here we have some females selling fruit and vegetables in the market, which would be a common place in Africa, although I've never been there. Uh, people would still have to eat. And then we have the five kwacha. So this has an equivalent value of one Australian dollar. About five kwacha equals one dollar. And as you can see, the security features actually get a lot higher. So we still have this simple security thread BOZ on it. And the BOZ there and the dove. And you would see that the branch here is the same colour as the actual tree there. And it's another different type of tree in the fishing eagle. The fishing eagle is also on the coat of arms and also on the flag. And as you can see, it has uh, three lines 
good, visually impaired. And this one's a purplish note. This colour is more of a greenish black. Or greyish black, actually. Something like that. And you see that the serial numbers are two letters and then the number. These do not have the date in the serial numbers. So here we have a plant. It looks like a tarot. And another plant. And then we have a lion, which is also on the 5000 Crutcher. The old series. And the Independence Monument. This one has um, coloured security threads, which... They've been used for about a hundred years, so that is a nice banknote. Then you have these patterns there, beautiful, beautiful banknote. And the highest denomination I have is the Ten Crutcher, so it's about two Australian dollars. And as you can see, the security thread actually gets a lot better. Okay, you have the dove up there, and a patination down there, so more like a modern pattern. And the watermarks are all pretty much the same for all the denominations. Then we have the eagle, they changed to actually blue when it was black before. Your branch is black, your tree is brown. So they're introducing more, this is the denominations go up, more intricacies in the actual printing. And the plant in the back of your tree is actually purplish colour. And on the back we have a porcupine. So in Australia, this has the equivalent type of habitat and it is an echidna. And uh, as you can see, it has lots of spikes to protect itself. And then we have wheat. Well, it looks like wheat anyway, and wheat harvesting in the background. And here we have uh, just room. And down below, we have who actually printed it. So this is a or whatever, and Devrient. I know that's in Germany. What does the other ones have a printer? So this one has uh, the same, looks like the same printer. Oh, it's a bit hard to tell. No, it's a different printer, but I can't actually tell who it actually is. And the five culture is. Um, Royal John Eschende, so that's in Nor uh, Netherlands, not Norway. The backnet printer of the Netherlands. So, those are my three denominations of the Zambian Kwacha. They're quite a nice series, I quite like it. Um, in the future, I'll make more videos on Zambia of the banknet series that I have. Anyway, I'll leave a link down below to Zambian banknotes on eBay in case you want to just have a browse and see what type of banknotes they actually have for sale. And uh, you go to www.banknotes.ws when you can see the whole range of banknotes that Zambia has ever issued. Anyway, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching my video. Have an awesome banknote collecting time. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and bye-bye.